Exile Con, day one in the books. Path of Exile 2 announced and showcased the monk. They forget the rest of the classes. There's a monk. I was right. I was so right. I totally called this prediction. I was, I'm so hyped to see that I was right. It's a monk class. And everything about it is just, it's exciting. It's awesome. It's great. There's no cooldowns. There's mana. There's actually mana. We get to actually use mana and reserve our auras on something completely different. I get to scale new stats. I get to use new skills. The graphics look great. The comp the combat i've watched i've watched this boss fight like a billion times and the monk gameplay like a billion times already and i've just looked at it over and over and over and everything about it is just it it's what i want in a game it's what i want it's what i want to do it's what i'm excited for it's what i've been showing my friends like yeah sure sork is cool warrior is cool but this like going in attacking dashing out going in freezing the boss attacking dodging picking up loot like look at that that skill was so cool that skill was so cool and then i look back at path of exile and i'm like wait but poe's faster than this like does this pick up like what would this monk look like with gear what would this monk look like with progression why does he have eight unspent skill points let me spend the skill points like where is the damage where is the excitement where are the explosions where is the ridiculousness and then i heard this all that stuff really will allow you to do the kind of ridiculousness that you expect from poe still for sure like i certainly wouldn't want you to like i still want a player to feel like oh i totally broke the game with this bullshit that i'm that i'm doing here you know like it needs to feel like you still broke it uh just not actually break it like you know i don't want the service to actually be on fire that that statement from that dev that the ridiculousness is still there and this being a showcase and showing how it is and i i like if this can only get better and this can get only crazy, I'm in. I'm so, 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 I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Now, if you didn't get the chance to watch this in all of its glory, there is a video of it on the Path of Exiles uh, Twitch page. You can go to pathofexile2.com and you can actually watch the video live and see all the announcements and hear everything the devs have to say. But just looking at this now, I'm, I want, I want it so bad. Even looking at the new environments, the way the character moves, the idea of real boss rooms, and like, just look at this boss come to life and everything he has to do to fight this guy. And you know, you watched the live stream yesterday and people were calling for nerfs on the boss. The boss was too strong. I, I actually have a boss health bar on the top of the screen to show me my progress and I can see the effects on the, oh, I'm, I'm genuinely happy. I'm not happy that I have to wait a year for closed beta, but I'm happy if they tell me I have to wait a year because they need to polish some things. And that's what they've said. Closed beta is scheduled for June 7th of next year. We have the ability to play it at PAX West, at GamesCon, at ExileCon now. And these are events that I won't be able to make it to, but if you guys get the opportunity to, you guys get to like try the game out early and see how you feel about it. Now, at ExileCon, we watched a lot of gameplay. We watched Warrior twice, Monk, and Sorceress and we were told the gameplay itself was designed to be harder even watching this now like the harder gameplay looks exciting and i'm i'm all for it and knowing that it can only go up from here is really great they also said that path of exile 2 was going to be two clients i did not know it was going to be two clients until you guys in twitch chat told me about this a couple weeks ago so i always thought that these were separate games it only made sense to me that they were separate games i know a lot of you guys are not thrilled that it's separate games um if you want to talk about it feel free to leave a comment down below but for me i think it's kind of cool it's separate games as a content creator too knowing that the leagues are going to be staggered and i get to make content for poe2 and then make content for poe1 it's really cool now i know there's some people that are like but i like to play other games in my spare time then you just skip a league right you don't have to play every league you don't have to play everything all the time ever i don't think two games are going to split the community we have two games from any other games and things work out great if you like look at like runescape any of the diablos like you people i still play diablo 2 all the time like all the time i don't know i'm excited man i like the fact that it's a whole new client i like the fact that it's gonna be its own story with i think he said six acts i'm genuinely really excited i think path of exile 2 was sold really well yesterday i liked watching my favorite streamer struggle um i liked hearing about like everybody having a hard time this just seeing that you can die in the showcase like 
knowing the devs were playing the game that was rehearsed and they still died that's cool that's really really cool i thought that was kind of awesome now going forward in path of exile 2 there's going to be team play or there's going to be a party system and watching the live stream from this i i thought party play looked kind of cool you'll see eventually that the sorceress that we're watching right now ends up finding a boss room and the monk will freeze it and the sork will bomb it and it's there's only so many times that i could say i'm really excited and really hyped for this and i think it's gonna be really fun Exilicon itself i thought was really well done the casting couch was great the casters were fantastic i think they all did a really good job i like watching all the interviews with the devs seeing the passion behind the devs was really cool they they really wanted to work the thing i don't like i don't like this arctic armor that was arctic armor you gotta like stand still for arctic armor that was really weird and there's a few things that i'd probably tweak and tune like when they did the sork showcase there was cast on shock and cast on shock looked like it didn't work too well so i'm very glad that this game's still a year out i know i'm gonna end up rant like if i there's so much i can ramble about about exilecon day one and just just how insane and how cool and how wonderful things were just looking at like the changes that are coming the currency we haven't we didn't see a lot of currency in this but like there's currency that was showcased later on in the day and we have this chaos orb q chaos orb right and like just the fact that the chaos orbs are different the transmutes are you know they add new effects everything is just i'm genuinely really excited man and i hope to not be let down you know i don't think i will be i really don't i i i'm hyped that the game is coming and i'm sad the game is a year away well it's probably more than a year away i know a lot of people were really hyped and wanted it to come out for christmas but you know, I think the current release date is June, so we probably won't see Path of Exile for another year. So I expect a lot to change. I expect a ton to change, and I think that's going to be good. I think it's going to be great for the game. I can't wait to see what happens and changes. Now, the Sork itself looks really good. I really wanted to see the Druid gameplay, but nobody really streamed the Druid. I'm hoping we see some Druid today on day two. And the Sork itself, like, if this is what it looks like now, imagine what it looks like with just more better gear or better, more, more, better, better, more, 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 better gear, higher tier gear, actual gear invested into the character, skill points spent, and it tailored to to do what the ridiculousness of Path of Exile. I think it's gonna be really cool. Sork, I think, is gonna get really fast, more cast speed, more attack speed, more everything. I like the fact that you can see here he's casting a fireball just randomly out of nowhere from a Sork setup. And I like the fact that the staves now give us or like items themselves give us skills to touch them i think that's a really neat change which eventually he'll show eventually he'll show yes thank you yeah see grants level 10 fireball that's cool man weapons seem exciting just from that i know when we were watching matho matho found an axe and it was like a pure fire axe i was like it's different it's it's awesome it's pretty cool even looking at this boss fight with the two characters working together when you listen to the devs play the fight and watch the video, the monk would literally freeze the boss and call out freezes for the Sork to attack. That, this is the kind of gameplay that I was hoping that Path of Exile 1 would have given us. And if Path of Exile 2 gives me the ability to play with my friends my, and just go into a room and work together, I'm in, dude. I'm so in. I, I can't wait. I, I watch this now and I, I find it hard to even find the words to just it's exciting man I think it'll be good I think it'll be really good I think it's a cool direction I think the skills look great the the movement looks great the combat looks great uh I'm all for the difficulty I understand that it's going to be difficult to start and as we get gear and progress and get gear for our alts and play through it again it's going to be easier and easier so i welcome the challenge i welcome going slow i want to take in the environment i want to take it i actually want to take in the story this time path of exile one i skipped the story completely i didn't start really learning about the story until just recently and like looking back and trying to find different videos or lore you know you always wonder why you were grave robbing and stealing gems and doing all kinds of stuff so i look forward to that and then yeah i can't wait man i can't wait it's good it's good it looks good it looks really good I know I sound like a broken record it's absolutely terrible I'm gonna go back and edit this video and watch this and be like wow you <laughs> oh, just look at the, the oh, it's cool I would like to get away from the complete speed and rush 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 race 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 of path of exile one and just like take a little bit slower and enjoy the gameplay but I understand if that's not going to be the case so 
I, I don't know, I'm all for it. Now, even going forward with ExileCon, after PoE 2, we got to see all the stuff coming up for PoE 1 and Next League, and I'm just gonna play that for you right now. Oh, it's lowered a little bit. I'm so, ah! Oh, this was good. This was really good. I thought this was cool. The idea that Navali came back is crazy. It is actually crazy. Now, I didn't realize this was a TFT auto battler style thing. I thought this was like the last epoch kind of end game. But then I found out this was an auto battler and I was like completely baffled. Did you know this was an auto battler? This is an auto battler. I didn't know this was an auto battler. It's like a PVP tournament thing with teams. I think, I don't know. I'm, it's crazy. There's so much going on right now. There's so much. There's new items. There's tattoos. Why are there tattoos? These, the keystones, the keystones, look at that, look at that. You can just blow up an entire thing. Bro, and Sanctum, Sanctum. Okay, all right, I know, I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I, I will admit, I'm way more excited about Path of Exile 1 than in Path of Exile 2, only because Path of Exile 2 is like a year plus out. Like, it is, it's only because it's a year plus out, but the idea that Sanctum is itemized Navali is back. It is an auto. Give me patch notes. I have my starter picked. I know what I want to do. Let me make sure it's not broken. I know what character I want to sanct. I'm living in Sanctum. I'm living in Sanctum. I'm living in Sanctum. I'm living in Sanctum. <laughs> they said that PoE 2 will have the systems of PoE 1 revamped and updated and changed. And we saw there was ROG. I'm so, I'm excited. I, I want to keep my hype levels in check for Path of Exile 2 because it's the year out and I know a lot could change in a year. But POE 1, August 18th, I'm I'm so, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. I am ready. ExileCon day one was great. The announcements were cool. The devs were cool. My biggest regret for ExileCon was not realizing how, how hard I was going to be FOMOing that I wasn't there. I think if ExileCon keeps going forward, um, I hope to God they bring it outside of New Zealand because it's so damn expensive to get to New Zealand. But I hope one day I can make it out there to one of the events because they look, it looks awesome, man. I'm so sad I couldn't go, but I'm like so happy that I get to watch it and share it with you guys. So yeah, man, ExileCon day one, ExileCon day one and everything we saw so far in my book is, is great and fantastic. And I'm all for it, man. Bring it on. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be a PoE content creator and see where things take us. So yeah, man. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy? Am I rambling? Am I just batshit nuts? Can I say that without getting yelled at by YouTube? I don't know. Anyways, so long, friends. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, do all that stuff, and let me know. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you excited? Are you not excited? How are we feeling? For now, these are just the ramblings of a crazy person who I'm still convinced that the lighting bug wasn't a bug. But anyways, I was right about the monk. Till next time, friends. So long, farewell.